can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be heading down to the shop We have a few things to do on either the 650 or the 435 So we'll figure that out once we get there, but we do have to run a few errands We have an FCP box we got to throw in the car We have some mail that we got to drop off and your boys got to get some fast food because Ramadan starts tomorrow If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically uh, a time of the month where you're gonna be fasting the whole month So today's the only day I can pretty much eat fast food and enjoy it So I'm gonna eat today fast food and enjoy it. Anyhow, let's go drop off some mail, get some food, go to the shop Quick stop at Costco, we're just gonna get some gas real quick. Alright guys, now at the post Post office just got in and out boys all right let me just chow down real quick you guys see we got a bunch of things this is not all just for the six series we got a lot of things for the four series we have a lot of things here for the 435 we have a lot of performance mods a lot of pretty much maintenance mods like so many things to get that car to stage two and possibly even stage three with all the maintenance the reason i'm trying to do it uh i want to get like that big ass box right there that is maintenance for the 435 i don't want to risk anything blowing up on that car obviously it's my daily so i'm trying to take care of it i have so much maintenance like i dropped like over six to seven hundred dollars just on maintenance and and then I got a whole bunch of mods. So if you guys are excited to see that, make sure you smash the like button. Let me know down below if you guys are enjoying the 650i build or you guys want to start seeing the 435 as well. Just a little mixture of both cars. Anywho, in today's video, hopefully um, the second part of it, which is going to be in this video, but probably tomorrow, we're going to hopefully get this car 100% started, taken down, get it smogged, VIN verified, all that good stuff. As of today, I want to try to get that uh, that airbag light cleared. We got the seatbelt tensioner. I do all of the fog light pieces, fog light grills, everything to assemble the front end of the car. This is a new BMW logo. That's also a steering wheel, which I'm not gonna be showing you guys just yet. But yeah, we're gonna try to just do a couple more things to the car, make it mint, so when we can actually get it VIN verified and all that stuff, the car is solid. So yeah, so we're just waiting on those gaskets, honestly. Once we get those gaskets, smog, everything should be good to go. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get the car up a little bit and uh, install all those grill pieces, install the hood piece, and then start working on that seat because uh, I really want all, I want, the, I want the whole dash to be clean. I think that'd be so sick. I love making all my BMWs a clean dash. But yeah, let's just go ahead and start working on that front end. Alright guys, first things first, let's go ahead and get this car up because uh, we gotta finish up that bumper. I actually have these two pieces, so that's gonna complete pretty much this whole intersection. And then I actually have the fog light cover here, but I'm missing the fog light. And then I'm missing a fog light and the fog light cover here. So we still need fog light pieces, but at least the center piece should be complete. These grills from Amazon are taking forever, mainly because Amazon is having some kind of delay with their shipping right now. Ah, so so in on those. But let's just go ahead and just assemble this real quick. Just like that, we got the scoop in and the grill. Which looks a lot better in my opinion. I actually see that the fitment here is a lot nicer than over here. I think I put in this grill, I mean this uh, this air duct a little wrong, but uh, I guess I'll adjust that. I'm thinking about painting this to match this and painting that to match this as well. So I might be doing that in a few seconds. But as for now, this logo's gotta go. I got a new one. So three, two, one. And just like that guys, new logo on the car. So now that we have all this stuff pretty much done, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint these real quick just to match. I don't know, I don't like how they're two different colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this gloss black. Actually, I was able to remove these quite easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one up and then paint both of them. Yeah, I did just paint them in a garbage can. It doesn't matter. I think these are dried. Yes, they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on the car. I think they're ready to go. Go ahead and just move the seat back, remove the, the front bolts and then the rear bolts, and then remove the battery. So at least we can move the seat and remove those bolts. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get the car down for this. Something I just learned about convertible is that the actual whole seatbelt is connected to the seat so you don't have to remove it from the car, which is actually so nice. So now uh, that we have this thing out, let's look at the seat buckle real quick. And as y'all can see, clearly this, uh, clearly this tensioner is shot. It did get compressed from the accident. Let's go ahead and bolt this off and replace it. You guys, a new one I got from eBay. Here's a package from eBay. So as you guys can see, this is how it's supposed to look like, and that's how it is. So when you blow an airbag, normally this also compresses and basically keeps you in your seat. So yeah, now we just have to replace that real quick. What's cool also, he did leave this harness on there, even though we're not gonna need it. But that just means that the harness for this is perfectly intact, which is nice. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, start removing that. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so we have the new harness pretty much put in, a new seatbelt tensioner. So, now we can go ahead and install the seat. It's pretty much that easy. Actually, this car is really easy to work on. I love how much room this car has literally in all aspects. Let's go ahead and throw in the seat and uh, hopefully get these codes cleared away. all the stuff we got out of the old one that we don't need this is destroyed we can go ahead and throw all this stuff away but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and call nick see if he can close it i forgot my carly adapter at home you can use carly to clear the airbag light but i'm gonna go ahead and let him clear the, all the lights for me see if it'll go away and at the same time code in my oil level sensor so some of you guys are telling me that my oil level sensor just probably needs to be programmed six series is a little bit different i went ahead and ordered one but I'm gonna install this in the next oil change since I do have to drain the oil. What's the point? I just put in new oil. I know the oil level is good. So we're gonna try to get it programmed. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have to probably replace it in the near future. Now that we got the seatbelt tensioner in, we got all those fun and pieces. Honestly, now we can go ahead and order the wrap and then order the fog lights and we pretty much can start pretty much perfecting the exterior of the car. The interior is pretty much good for the most part and in terms of stock. We do need turn signals. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and start cleaning up some of the lights, put this car on a trickle charger. Let's get some things uh, cleared up on this dash. We're gonna go ahead, give uh, Nick the login, and he's gonna go ahead and code in our car. As you guys can see, we have the airbag lights, unfortunately. And then we have a buttload of lights on here. And uh, as you guys can see, it has literally every single light. So uh, obviously there's a lot of these lights are mainly because of the battery, and there could be a lot of these for other reasons. So for the meantime, it is on a trickle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see uh, if the airbag light will clear. Hopefully it was just the tensioner, but I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Nick is gonna go ahead and start clearing the codes. We just went ahead and installed the new seatbelt tensioner. So hopefully, guys, Fingers crossed, this airbag light goes away. Guys, just like that, airbag light is away. The only reason not the TPMS light is because actually my tire is kind of flat. So that's what it is. But I mean, other than that, I do need to order a whole bunch of bulbs and modules. As you guys can see here, service info, check control, and you guys can see a bunch of random lights. I even have one PDC sensor that's out and an adaptive headlight module that's out. So I need to order a whole bunch of bulbs tonight and a couple sensors. I don't know if you guys know, but if you have an airbag light, you can't even pass VIN verification. So now I can actually get this thing registered. This is good. This is looking good. And that brings up the 2007 BMW 650i. Yeah. Let me see how that updates your billing information going forward, okay? Okay. All right, guys, you know what? Change of plans. I'm actually going to take the 6 Series home, so uh, wish me luck. Guys, I'm officially driving. Headlights seem to not be working, so that's a little sketch, but we got a lot of air. We got a lot of sunlight. Uh, hopefully, we get this before complete sundown. Uh, wish me luck, boys. I do have this in the insured, so we are insured. Guys, this is so sick. Check this out. Woo, boys, this is so sick, dude. Oh my god, a vert. Oh, I have, some, I have such good plans for this car. Such good plans. Hopefully this thing will get us to our house, no issues. Um, again, wish me luck, wish me luck, boys. We do have to stop by a gas station to pump up the, the tire, so, and we do need to get some gas. We have literally seven miles left in the air pressure light for the rear tire, so uh, let's stop by the Arco gas station. We are out of gas, boys. Guys, are we gonna make it to the gas stations? I'm trying to hit the Arco gas. Please, God, fingers crossed I'll make it. Please. Imagine it dies out and my fuel pump goes out. Oh my God. Guys, first gas fill up in the 650. I'm just gonna put like 10 to 15 dollars, get us home because Costco gas is a whole lot cheaper. All right, guys, 15 dollars worth of gas. Will it? Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's get home. Let's get home. Hopefully, we'll get home. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. This is day two. So as you guys can see, we're in the vert. Got a whole bunch of errors on the dash for the headlights. Other than the whole headlight situation, the car is should be good. So let's hopefully go get a smog. Hopefully, it passes. We're gonna head down to smog. See if they can run the code. See if everything's good. See if it'll pass smog. And that would be perfectly ideal. Guys, I think a BMW Vert is the most douchebag thing you can do, honest. I'm a flat tire right now, so uh, yeah. We need to go ahead and get this tire pumped up before we head on our journey. All right, guys, it says the rears are 38 PSI. That's what we need to do. The only thing free here in California is air, so uh, let's go ahead and take advantage of that real quick. Gotta love Cali. All right, I think we're good on this side. This side doesn't look too bad either. Let's go ahead and reset it on the dash and hope to God our uh, tire pressure light's gone. No more TPMS? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that clean dash. We just need to get all these light errors off and we need to fix those uh, PCB valves and this car should be solid. Let me go to remove these gloves real quick. Guys, I love convertibles. Oh my oh. God, there, there is a different thing. Like there should be a convertible in your life, an SUV in your life, a truck in your life, and then a sports car. You don't really compare a convertible to a sports car. There should not be, I mean, you, you shouldn't get an M4 as a, as, a, as a convertible, to be honest. Like a huge luxury six series is definitely where it's at in terms of convertible worldness. We need to get some food. Let's get some food and then uh, and let's head over to Smog afterwards. Uh, the wait I heard is gonna be pretty long, so uh, I'm not trying to wait, you know, an hour without food, so I'm kind of hungry. And just like that guy, full tank. 
Damn. All right, guys, let's head out. Got the food. Let's get out of here. Here at the smog, uh, I'll let you guys know what happens. All right, guys, so I just went ahead past smog, thankfully. Uh, no lights on the dash, everything checked out. So now we're gonna head over and hopefully get this VIN verified because if we can do that, this car will be officially under our name. The woman that does my registration for the car is currently not here. Um, I don't know why I called her, she's not picking up. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second. I'm gonna chill right here. I did get my Chipotle, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. And it, it, guys, it is super hot today. I cannot wait to get the AC working on this car. So thankfully it passed smog. Luckily it did not rev the car because if you would've saw the smoke, it wouldn't have passed 100%. Anyhow, can't wait to get those things fixed. But meantime, let's chill here, eat, and just wait, you know. So I'll let y'all know uh, how it goes. I just got out and she just said I got everything done. VIN verification passed smog pass which means in a couple days I should hopefully have tags and new plates for this car it's getting a bunch of bulbs for both sides anywho I'm gonna go ahead and head home and that pretty much concludes this video for the most part hopefully the next video should start getting straight into mods and everything so if you guys are enjoying the 650i video make sure to smash the like button we might be able to start working on suspension or we might actually just go straight into the exhaust video next hopefully while p fixing also the PCV valve so we won't get a bunch of smoke anywho without further ado guys I love y'all so much make sure to smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this series without further ado see you guys in the next one oh yeah remember stay humble stay humble all right don't forget remember Remember, Sam, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.